We are going to start in a very brief child's pose. We're going to get you moving. Then there's going to be a little bit of a slower kind of transformation of this practice. And then it's going to come to its happy place. Okay, so child's pose briefly. Let your knees go wide. Energetically reach your arms forward. Be kind to your body. Yep. If having the arms forward doesn't feel good for you, you just slide your arms straight back. So forgiving yoga practice, connect to your breath. Yeah, drop your seat. Ujjayi, inhalation is through the nose, through the back of your throat, you wanna breathe. And without opening your mouth, exhale through your nose. And when I practice, I try and link the breath. So the inhalation is really, really long, slow, powerful. And then I try and follow it with a really powerful, more intense exhale. Spread the palms, activate your hands as a lift of your triceps and your forearms, curl your toes into the mat and lift your hips up to a downward facing dog. Take a second to work out your dog in here this morning. As I said, if you're here in New Jersey, it's like 20 degrees. So you may find yourself practicing today with bent knees. That is A-OK. -okay. Let the head go. Breathe your hips up off your shoulders. We can get out of the joints and begin to feel our muscular bodies doing their job. Spread your hands nice and wide. And then I challenge you to pick a dristi point, something to hone in and something to focus on. You might find as you move through the practice that dristi point changes. Sometimes it's hard to find one. Sometimes you just need to close your eyes too. Fire up the sides of your arms. There's a wrapping of your triceps and then there's movement of your shoulders away from you. Let your head be free. Roll forward to a plank, stack your body. For the first one, sometimes you get to it and you need to kind of walk it out a little, that's okay. Stack your body nicely, so your shoulders over your elbows, your elbows over your wrists. And if you get here and this doesn't feel great in today's body, you modify with your knees down and you listen to the little bits of information your body is telling you. Draw the navel to the back of the spine, fix your eyes if possible and hold. Energize your breath from the crown of the head to your heels, and then let it wrap back around the other direction. If you feel like you're rounding your spine, lengthen more and lead with your chest a little bit. Feel like you're bringing your chest forward. Keep your neck nice and neutral though. Good, keeping your eyes fixed, bend your elbows in half to a chaturanga or support with your knees down or omit and just hold plank. Restraighten your arms to a plank position. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Roll forward plank, do it again. Stack your body nicely, contract your navel. Fix your eyes if possible. Decide how much you wanna put out this morning. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. That's for you to decide. I'm just your guide. Restraighten your arms plank. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. One more, roll forward plank. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga, pause in the chaturanga if you're holding it. Lead with your heart and chest for your first up dog, dog or cobra. Yeah, active legs, press through your hands. Lead, keep your neck nice and neutral. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, take two big steps to get there this morning. Feet can be hips width. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Try not to hang like a wet noodle. Hands can rest on your shins. The blocks are helpful. Exhale, fold over your legs. Root to rise, come all the way up, anchor yourself. Drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms and stand still for a moment. Decide if you wanna practice with your feet hips with distance, that's beneficial for a lot of us, or slide them together and play with it. Here we go, sun A's. Stretch the arms straight up, look up with your eyes and then forward fold, bending your knees, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine. This is gonna help you prepare the body and the mind 
plant your hands, two big steps to get you back to a plank. Bend your elbows in half to a chaturanga. Drag yourself through a, a nice smooth transitional up dog here. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full deep breath out. Let the body and the mind just arrive into this mat, onto the mat, into the space. Look to the top, the towel. Two big steps to get there. Long spine, keep your weight forward. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. So just moving like this, arms reach up, connect your breath and your movement, dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine, prepare. Plant your palms, step, step to plank. Yeah. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Keep your neck long. Drag yourself to a nice up dog. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, be patient. Look where you wanna go. You can step, you can float at this point to the top of the mat. Long spine, weight stays forward. Exhale, fold, let the head go. Root to rise, feel the ground. Drag it to prayer at heart center. Drop your arms, keep moving. Arms reach up, look up a little with your eyes, get excited. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine, prepare. You can step, step, you can float through a vinyasa. It's up to you at this point. The slower you move, the more you're probably gonna get. Up dog opens you. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Yeah, save the dance routine for later. And let's focus on muscle engagement. Look where you wanna go, step or float, feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale, keep that weight forward. Exhale, fold, root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer at heart, drop your arms. One more, slide the arms up, anchor. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Step or float through your vinyasa, you choose. Upward facing dog should feel good. Legs are strong. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just gonna activate the core for a moment. Roll forward, plank. Yep. So these are a plank walk. You're just gonna walk your right hand out about two or three inches. So mine's coming to the top, the front edge of the mat. So my right hand is further out than my left. Yeah, just do that much first. Feel your abdominal wall just begin to contract. Fire up your legs. If it's too much for you, green, this is one. You could just drop your knees. Left hand matches to the front edge of the mat. So now the hands are further forward. This is an abdominal uh, exercise. Keep your neck nice and neutral. Hold. Let the breath flow. Good, without the hips wavering, right hand underneath right shoulder, it's hard. Left hand underneath left shoulder. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Restraighten your arms, plank. Try it one more time, let's do this slow. Left hand out, slow, a little further than the right. Right hand forward to match the left, so the arms are further forward. Pause, contract the core. Left hand underneath left shoulder, do it slow. Right hand underneath right shoulder, pause. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga. Plank position, good. Hips up and back, downward facing. So now you're gonna come forward to plank and you're gonna drop your knees down to a tabletop. Hands are slightly forward. Yeah, and they're a little bit closer in. Curl the right toes into the mat, activate your right leg, contract the thigh. Float the right leg up, hip height. Reach the left arm forward, keep your neck long. It's just kind of floating in free space. It's like a warrior three. Yeah. So nice and slow, your right knee is gonna go to the outside of your right tricep and your left arm is gonna slide towards your left ribs. It's gonna look like this. They're kind of like a dog in a fire hydrant. The left arm slides to the left ribs, your neck is neutral. You're just pausing in space. Fire up your right tricep, press down with your right hand. Good, reach and stretch in opposite directions. Your balance may get a little icky, it's okay. This time you're gonna go across your body. So you're gonna take your left elbow and your right knee across and you're gonna pause. Yeah. 
You're gonna reach and stretch in opposite directions. Keep the lift of your right leg, take your left hand down underneath the shoulder, and then slide your right knee in towards your navel, round your spine, you're still in this tabletop. Step your right foot forward towards your right thumb. So you're in this baby low lunge. Slide your left knee back, your hands frame your right foot, pause. This is a good time. Patty would probably use her knee pad underneath her knee here. Yep, perfect for a hard floor. Right knee tracks over right angle. Hands press to the top of the knee. You're putting a little bit more weight forward, so you're lunging into this hip. Yeah, and then climb the arms up. If this doesn't feel good for your lower back, pull out of it and be more upright. So it would look like this. My right foot would probably have to scoot in a little. So depending on your body, you're straight up and down, or if you're a little bit more mobile, you're lunging a little deeper, but always keeping in mind your right knee, your right ankle. Good. Just look forward with your eyes or look up a little. Reach up with your fingertips, feel your body, feel your breath. Hands come to frame your front foot. Frame the foot or fl slide blocks underneath, activate your back legs. Now you're in this low lunge, back leg strong, my hands are firm. Yeah, if you can't reach the floor, you can tent the fingertips, you can slide blocks. Contract the right hip underneath you, activate your back leg. Grip the hips in and then reach your arms forward. So we're growing in steps this morning so you can feel your body begin to awaken. Rise up, crescent lunge. Good, when you come up, you have to kind of align yourself so your hip points move forward, your back leg is strong. You may need to bend your back knee a little in order to get those hip points forward. So deep into your front thigh, look up with your eyes. Sit deeper into the front thigh, not into the knee. Hang on tight. Hands come to frame your front foot. Plant the palms front, listen carefully. You're gonna swing your right leg with control back and through to a three-legged down dog. Do this slow, no flailing body parts, no kicking countertop, do it slow. Don't open your hips, let your head be strong. Just let it be soft to the floor, yeah. Lift from your inner right thigh, keep everything neutralized, so no opening of that hip. Press down through your hands. Now, keeping the lift of the leg, come forward, take your right knee towards your right tricep. Yeah, it's gonna go in the general direction. It may not even get close. Scoop out your belly, keep your neck long. You got it, hold. Very slow using muscular strength, not flailing body parts. Feed your right leg back and through three-legged dog, do it slow. Don't open your hip, keep the core engaged. Keep the left hip hugging in. Come forward, cross the body now. Right knee, left tricep, pause. And if you have this in your practice, you're gonna go into a fallen triangle, right hand down, and we're gonna open up. If this is not in your practice, drop your right knee down and support with a modified version of this. So there's two options. You go modified side plank. You can drop to your form too, or you can go to a fallen triangle where the legs are split. Look up. Bottom hip has to do a lot of uh, lifting so you're not getting saggy. Well, nothing wants to get saggy. Lift a little higher. My left leg is like a warrior too, guys. Yep. Look down, both hands frame, my hips square, hug your right knee towards your navel. Stay with me. Land your right foot forward. Same right foot. Yes, turn the back foot strong. Reach the arms back, setting up your feet and your legs for warrior one with active arms reaching back, triceps engaged. Good, grip your right hip firm underneath you, swing the left thigh and the ribs forward, press through your feet and legs, and then come up, warrior one. Warrior one, yeah. Make sure your stance is wide enough and width. Good, bring your arms straight forward towards the front skinny edge of your mat, not your whole torso, just your arms. Wrap your left arm underneath your right arm, lift your elbows up. Good, inhale your breath, exhale, come forward into a humble warrior with eagle arms. Wrap your right arm to the inner part, part, part of your right leg, grip your hip in, round your spine, let your head go. Press firm for the, through the back left foot. Hold tight here, breathe. So the nature of our body is it wants to open up here. We wanna keep kind of turning the left ribs towards the front edge of the mat and gripping your outer hips underneath you. 
Yeah, press down more through your feet. Let your head go. Two more breaths. Keep the legs strong. Bring the torso back up with your eagle arms. You got it. Bend deep into your front thigh. Sweep your arms out and up. Maybe your hands come over the top of the head into this prayer. Arms hug in. Bring it to the floor, vinyasa. So you're gonna vinyasa here if you want to, or are you just gonna go to a down dog? Upward facing dog, should feel good. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, roll forward plank, drop your knees to a tabletop, bring your hands in. Now that is challenging for me to remember everything. Hopefully I got it. Take your right leg and extend it back. Your left leg, extend it back. See, I already screwed it up. Left leg back, right arm forward. Float the left leg up. Just do this much first. We'll see how I do. Draw the navel in. So that's the hard part about teaching Zoom because you guys all go on mute and no one shouts out anything. I have no idea what's going on in your end. Good. So here we go. You're gonna take your left leg to the outer part of your left tricep. At the same time, I'm gonna take my right arm towards my right ribs. I'm gonna hold. It's kind of like a dog at a fire hydrant type deal. Keep your neck nice and long. Press firm through your left palm. Grip your left arm under you. Reach and stretch in opposite directions. Yes, this time you're gonna come across your body. So your knee to your elbow. See how it goes round your spine. Keep your neck nice and neutral. Yep. Reach and stretch in opposite directions. Fire up the thigh. Keep the lift of the left leg. Take the right hand back down underneath the right shoulder. Hug your left knee in. Scoop out your belly round your spine. And then look forward and land your left foot forward into kind of this tight little lunge. Good, you may choose to stay like this or you may slide your leg back. I like it better with the leg back because I get the psoas release. Press the hands to the top of the knee and crawl on up, supported lunge. Yep, knee down. It's good to know this posture. Our bodies change on a day-to-day -day basis and we can modify this way. Either getting a little heavy in the front leg, mm -hmm or you're pulling out of it, it's up to you. Good, hands come down to frame your front foot. Palms ideally go flat, fire up the sides of the triceps, engage the back knee, be here. You can slide something underneath your hands, you can cup the fingertips if the floor is too far, but hug in. Then grip the hips underneath you, reach your arms forward. Step by step we work. Katie, take your feet a little bit wider in width, like this way, mm -hmm. it's gonna help. Hug in, rise up, crescent lunge. Fix your eyes, hip points forward, back leg super engaged. Yeah, bend deep into the front thigh, reach up with the fingertips, look up with your eyes. Good, hands come down to frame your front foot. Good, feed that left leg back and through three-legged down dog. Three-legged down dog, let the head be free. Right side of the body, nice and long. Hug the right hip in. In this three-legged down dog, come forward plank. Take your left knee towards your left tricep. Keep looking forward, scoop out your belly. Arms are straight up and down. Left leg slow, straight up and back. Three-legged down dog, flex the foot firm. Look forward, come across your body with your left leg and see if you can find that fallen triangle or modify with your knee down. Right leg is strong and straight like a, like a warrior two. And then look up. Lift a little higher. Look down with your eyes, both hands come to the floor. Square your hips, hug your left knee one more time back in towards your chest. Land your left foot forward and through. Turn your back foot strong. Set your legs up for warrior one. Reach your arms back, pause here. Steer your left hip back, your right thigh forward, your left waist forward. Press th firm through your back foot. Rise up, warrior one. Set yourself up for your best version of warrior one that you can get here. Good, straight up and down with your torso. Arms reach straight forward. Wrap your right arm underneath your left. If you think you mixed it up, go with the opposite grip. Lift the elbows up, sit deep into your front thigh, then come forward, humble warrior with eagle arms, let the head go. Grip your left hip strong underneath you, press firm through your back leg, round your spine, kind of curl into yourself. 
Let your head go. Keep steering the torso and the hips forward. Yeah. Two more. Strong legs, pull yourself up. Unravel your arms and see if your hands come to a prayer straight up. Yeah, hug in. Take it to the floor, vinyasa or right to a down dog, you pick. Upward facing dog, point your toes. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Wasn't that fun? Look where you wanna go, step or float feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale breath, exhale fold. It made you miss these chair poses. Here we go, sit deep. Weight in your heels. Yep. This is one. So if your shoulders feel stuck, give yourself a little availability to maybe do something else. Hands to prayer, arms can reach back. Kind of feel your way through the pose. Sit a little deeper into your heels. Little, little arch of your lower spine. Shoot up to stand. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. Let's move together the best that we can. Arms reach up. Lower your seat into a strong chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine. You can step, you can float through your vinyasa. You can just go to a dog, you can skip them. Hips up and back, downward facing. Right foot forward, back foot turns, warrior one. Yeah. Arms reach up. You got it. Bring it back down to the floor. Step through your vinyasa or meet me in a down dog. Once you get to your down dog, immediately the left foot steps, the back foot turns, warrior one. Come on up. Hands to the floor, move through your vinyasa or bag it. Yeah. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Good, look where you wanna go. Step or float, feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale breath. Keep that weight forward. Exhale, fold over yourself. Sit into chair, strong chair. You want the weight in your heels, yep. Good, Kareem, just turn your palms facing the mat. Perfect, now they're in the right rotation. More weight in your heels, everyone. Look forward, Jody. Yeah, shoot up to stand. Drag your hands to prayer. Drop your arms. Reset, here we go. Arms at the top, stretch up big. Reset, chair, sit deep. You got it. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare. Exhale your breath, step or float to a chaturanga. Nice, upward facing, take your time. Look up with your eyes, downward facing. Right foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one. So just moving with your breath right now, not too fast, not too slow, just right for you. This is your practice. Hands come down, plank position. Chaturanga, upward facing, happy. Hips up and back, downward facing. Left foot forward, you guys look good. Left foot forward, back foot turns, warrior one. Bring it back down to the floor, vinyasa, or toss it away. Meet me in a downward facing dog. Just pause for a second. We'll do one more, because everyone looks so happy in these. Look where you wanna go, step or float, feet to the top. Long spine on the inhale breath. Exhale, fold. Sit into chair, weight moves into your heels. Shoot up to stand, drag it to prayer at heart center, drop your arms. Here we go, arms up, last one. Let's make it a fiery one. Sit into chair. Like really sit, let yourself sit low. Fold over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, long spine. You can step, you can float through your vinyasa. When you get to your down dog, step your right foot forward, turn your back foot strong, warrior one. Good, bring it back down to the floor. Move through your vinyasa. Hips up and back down dog. 
And one more time, land your left foot forward, turn your back foot strong, warrior one on the left side. Bring it back down to the floor, plank position. Chaturanga and Dasana. Upward facing dog, point your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog, let it go. Good, come forward to plank, hug your right knee to your navel and pause. You're straight up and down with your arms, so you're working your core pretty good here. Yeah. Look forward with your eyes, land your right foot smack in between your two hands. Pause for a second, okay? Turn your back foot strong into a warrior two. Block is really helpful here. Place it to the instep of the foot. Take your right palm flat. Lean back into the inner part of your right thigh so the back of my tricep connects with the inside of my right leg. And then the left arm is gonna spread up. Now, if this doesn't feel good in your body, the alternative would be to rest your arm on the thigh and modify here. Not really a modification, just a different way to be in the pose. So play around with this. Two arms straight up and down to start. Yeah. Grip your right hip under you. It's the hardest part for most of us. And then with that gripping of your right hip, turn your bottom ribs up and look up. Now pay attention to your right palm. Having the right palm flat may not feel great. You may need to come to a tented fingertip. Reach up bigger with your left arm, then take that left arm and start to wrap it around you for a half bind. If that's not available, your hand can just be on your hip or it can stay reaching up strong towards the sky. Now, when you begin to turn, you look up, your upper ribs begin to turn, your chest and your collarbone get this most awesome opening. Keep gripping your right hip underneath you though. Left leg stays strong. Looks really good, Joel. Nice work. Use the breath to work deeper into the pose at this point. Stay with it. The, free, the, squeeze didn't free, uh, the screen didn't freeze. It's, we're still holding the pose. Yeah, grip your right hip in strong. Activate your back leg. Keep your right hand down. Extend your left arm up. Anchor your feet and your legs, pull up warrior two. Now, if you get to warrior two and it feels like your stance was a little off, reset your stance. You want a pretty big, bold position with your feet. Your right foot is forward, your left foot is turned enough that your thigh can turn a little. Straight up and down with your torso and your arms reach long. Grip your right hip underneath you. Turn up the inner part of your right thigh, yeah. Turn it open. I'm gonna rotate mine towards the fireplace behind me. Lengthen your tailbone, don't tuck it. Just let your tailbone drop. Close your eyes, five more breaths. Free yourself right here. It's a great opportunity, exercise of just being still, being patient, being in this moment. Breathe lightness across your body as you sit deeper. Stay with it. If your eyes shut, open them. Straighten out your right leg. Now keep a soft little bend behind your right knee and you may need to get your back foot in closer. Reach out with your right hand and find triangle. Left arm straight up. I personally like my hand on my shin. I just find it more comfortable, but a block to the outside is a nice option. You can be up a little higher. Left leg super engaged. Good. Now the hardest part for most of us transitioning from that pose to this pose is our neck. Our neck starts to feel a little funky. So broaden your shoulders and your chest. You try your best to look up with your eyes. It may be a little bit more neutral or looking down and that's okay. You can wrap your left arm around if you feel like the half bind may feel good. Actually, if you wanna try something a little bit different, your right arm can reach behind, you can clasp your hands and create a lift of your torso. Give that a try. Yeah, soften behind your right knee so you're not dumping into the hamstring or behind the knee, right? And then turn up the ribs and look left. Three more breaths. 
So this is gonna require you to use your obliques, the strength of your legs, and it's getting you a little opening of your chest. If you adapted the pose in any way, just release to a regular triangle, right hand down, left arm up. Now, we're gonna look down and we're gonna float to a half moon. Two options in a half moon today. You can use your block, reach it out in front of you and go for it. Or you can keep your hand on the front of your shin, press really firm into the front of your shin, and then float up this way into half moon. I'm gonna have to stop talking to try and do it. Nope, not happening today. Right hand's gonna press into the shin if you're able to do it. Left arm opens towards the sky. So it's kind of like a floating half moon. Katie, this is right up your speed. Block right underneath the right shoulder or a little off centered. If you're using going for the block, left arm extends up and you're lifting your left leg, just hip height. The balance is going to be tested. If you fall, you come back again. And then wherever you wanna work for the last little bit here, chopasana, balancing, your fingertips up off the ground, maybe going to a wall. Come back to a regular half moon, look down with your eyes, left hand comes to the floor, square your hips, land your feet together, land them together at the top of the mat, good. You're gonna come down and you're gonna squat on your heels. Just squat on your heels. Come to your fingertips. Plant your palms out in front of you. Separate your knees. Your feet must stay together, guys. Look forward and work yourself into a crow. One foot and then maybe the other. The trick with crow is that your feet must stay together. Yeah. You wanna scoop out your belly like what we were practicing early on. And you wanna look forward with your eyes. The trick is that the seat shouldn't be so high. Your butt shouldn't be super high. Mm -hmm. Step or float when you're ready to your vinyasa, your chaturanga, your downward facing dog, clear it out. And if that wasn't so great, it's in the past. Upward facing, hips up and back, downward facing dog. It's just yoga. Roll forward to a plank. Hug your left knee to your navel in plank position. Aren't you excited? You get to do it again. Hug the knee in. You're in plank, the knee is straight in towards the center line. Your arms are straight up and down. You're pressing into the floor. Keep looking forward with your eyes. Scoop out your belly more, land your left foot forward, turn your back foot strong. Set up yourself here for a nice extended angle B. Left hand to the instep, right arm straight up. It's good to start small. It's good to start small and then work your way up. Some days we just need small. We need to do less. Other days you have more energy. You have more flexibility, you have more balance. Grip your left hip underneath you. This is called life. So we just kind of roll with it. Bottom ribs turn. We have to adjust. We have to learn to adjust in our bodies and our minds. Right arm can reach up or can wrap around. And that's our goal for all our children is to teach them to be able to adjust to different situations. That's all we're doing here. Turn our bottom ribs and look over the right shoulder. And once you find that sweet spot, that's just enough energy, just enough like you feel like, oh, I, if I go any more, I feel like it's gonna be too much. It's called playing your edge. That's where you pause and you work and you breathe. Grip the hip underneath you, turn the bottom ribs and stay with it. Give it a little bit more, you can. Strong legs, strong feet, right arm up. Activate strongly and then pull up warrior two. Warrior two. And then to take a second to reevaluate, like am I in alignment here? My torso is nice and long. My arms are nice and broad across my body. Turn up the inner part of the thigh, lengthen the tailbone straight down and just be still here. Close your eyes. You can close your eyes. You know, it's fun. It's also fun to like look at the other arm. You can look at towards the back arm. Sometimes that helps.
the nature of our left knees, it's gonna to wanna to turn in. So give a little bit of tension towards that inner thigh and roll it open a little more. Four more breaths, you're doing great. Stay connected right here. Yep, straighten your left leg, but keep a little bend behind the knee, guys. Float your arms into a traditional triangle pose. Reach for a block if you need it. Set up here, step by step we work. The obliques work, the core engages. This is not a back bend. If anything, it's a little bit more of a twist with hamstrings. Add the right arm around if you wanna take the half bind, if that feels good for you. Or if you're gonna go with the clasp hands behind your back, there's a turning of your torso and you look over your right shoulder. So my hands are clasped behind me. They're reaching towards the fireplace. They can have a little bend behind them too. But I'm not pinned straight with my front leg. Back leg is super engaged. Collarbone is twisting open, chest getting a nice opener. Two more. Traditional triangle, just spread the arms wide because we're setting up for the next. Look down with your eyes, work to your half moon. If you wanna play around with the block, that's great. If you wanna press your hand into the front of the shin and work with balance today, give it a try. Hand presses firm into the shin, right arm extends up. And then play with the splay of your block. Yeah, how high it needs to be. And then maybe add in chopasana or any order, sort of little things that keep you motivated to do the pose. Bottom hip, hugs in tight. Right leg lifts only as hip height. Flex the right foot strong, look up with your eyes. Draw the navel to the back of the spine. Yeah, keep that left foot forward guys. If you fall out, just join us again, a little bit longer. Any variations you added in, just meet me here, regular half moon. Look down, right hand comes to the floor, square your hips, land your feet together. Land your feet together at the top of the mat. Yeah, come down again and balance on your toes. I did this the other day. Yeah, Mark, you would have been so happy. We had a class, we didn't do chair twist, yeah. So we're gonna set up here, it did happen. Hands are gonna come to prayer. Hands come to prayer and I'm balancing, I know this is hard for a lot of us, on my toes. And if you wanna work harder, create a space between your butt and your heels. Hands to prayer. I'm gonna turn my torso to the right and I'm gonna open up my arms. Yep. I'm gonna open my arms. I'm gonna keep my weight distributed so I'm straight up and down. I'm gonna come back to center, hands back to prayer. Turn towards the center, stay lifted. Turn towards the left, open up the arms. Good. Nature is the right arm wants to take me forward, straight up and down. You got it. Come back to center, hands to prayer, turn the torso, bring the hands to the floor, set up for crow one more time. Yeah, palms go flat, knees tuck behind the triceps. You can keep the big toes down, you can just hover here. Or you can give yourself another shot of trying to go into crow. If you're really like, this is enough, I don't wanna do it. Squat, malasana, five breaths. You got it. So Jody, see if you can work your knees higher up. They kind of have to get closer to the armpit. Doesn't feel great for a lot of us. Yeah. And you have to kind of crouch down. Yeah. You got it. Step or float when you're ready, guys. Chaturanga. Some days this works beautifully. Other days it's a hot mess. So. You get to your downward facing dog. We're gonna meet there. We'll keep this moving. From your down dog, your right foot steps into a low lunge. Activate your legs, rise to a high lunge, crescent lunge. Hands come to prayer at heart center. Inhale that breath, hook the elbow, take the twist to the right. Yeah, grip your right hip underneath you. Activate your back leg. If this is too much for you, drop your back knee down and you take yourself out. So there's a leaning back of your torso so the crown of the head can line up with your back left heel. 
And looking sideways or looking up is what we're going for here. Feel the weight in your right heel, stay with it. Twist a little bit more. Look down, place both hands to the floor. Yeah, step your left foot forward to meet your right feet together, ideally. Long spine on the inhale, breath, exhale, fold. Sit chair, weight in your heels. Drag your hands to prayer here. Hook the elbow, twist the same direction to the right, scissoring of your thighs in. It's good to get in the habit of looking down at your knees. Make sure they line up side by side. Open up your arms if you want more. Look up with your eyes. Hips back, weight in your heels. Keep the weight moving into your heels. Pull around to a strong chair with your arms really straight. Weight in your heels. Shoot up to stand, your arms stay up. Your feet are firm. Right knee in, bend it up. So my right leg bends in half, my arms stay up. I'm gonna wrap my right leg around my left. I'm gonna wrap my right arm over my left arm for eagle, eagle pose. Yeah. Steer the right knee towards the center, lift the elbows up. If you wanna take sleeping eagle and come down, you can kind of round and hook the elbow, let the head go. So play with these little things. Ideally we're in like a deep chair, yeah. Squeeze everything nice and tight. Keep the legs strong, bring the torso up. Bring the torso up. Unravel the arms. Press to stand, hugging the right knee back in how we started. Keep reaching up with your arms. Stay with this, or if you want to try, extend your right leg out in front of you. Lift from your right leg, your right hip, your right core. Reach straight up with your arms. Lift the right leg. Leg can be bent in half too. Swing your right leg back and through. Step through back crescent lunge left side. If it didn't work out, you just bring your hands down and you reset. Left side crescent lunge, drag the hands to prayer, inhale the breath, hook the elbow, take the twist. Back leg super engaged, yeah. So we want a straight spine, everybody. And how do we get a straight spine? There's a little bit of a leaning back, yeah. And then I find that if you either look up or look sideways, it really helps. If you look back, it kind of rounds us. Grip the outer hips underneath you, squeeze tight down the center line of your body and rinse open. Two more. Look down, take both hands to the floor, pause. Let your right foot come to the top to meet your left. Long spine on the inhale, exhale fold, keep it together. Sit into chair, weight moves into your heels. Slide the hands to a prayer, pray for yourself, hook the elbow, turn to the left. Watch the right side of the body that it doesn't go with you. Weight stays in your heels. Open up your arms if you want more. Yeah, so if you go to that place where you're opening your arms and you feel like you can't breathe, just back out. Stay with it. Keep the weight in your heels. Pull around to strong chair. Strong chair, look forward with your eyes. Shoot up to stand, keep your arms straight up and down. Just stand. Good. All the weight goes onto your right leg, left leg bends in half. Wrap your left leg around your right leg and then wrap your left arm under, eagle. Sit deep, move the weight into your heels. Lift your elbows up. So Kareen, this is one where the shoulder sometimes just doesn't feel great. Your hands can always just be in a prayer. Come forward for sleeping eagle. You're gonna round your spine a little. Weight stays in the standing right heel. Keep moving your hips back. Good, keep the weight in your, in your feet, in your heels. Pull your torso up. Unravel your arms. Press up to stand on your right leg with your left leg bent in half. This may be enough for you today. If you wanna to experiment with straighten the left leg out in front of you, lift from your lower belly, deep in your core and breathe your left leg up a little higher. 
You're going to float through a warrior three, very brief. Giant step back, crescent lunge on the right side. Hands come to the floor. Drop your back knee down. Slide the thigh back. This is how we started, guys. Walk your right foot over just a little bit so you have hips-width distance. Left arm's going to slide forward like this. Right arm's going to reach back. Bend at your knee crease. Grab your ankle. It's a version of full pigeon here. Bending at your ankle, grabbing your foot or your ankle. Now, if having your left arm really far forward is like not doable, a block is great. So always making little changes. Grip your right hip in and turn your torso a little towards like your, your throat towards the right. See how everyone's doing with that. Yeah, so the goal is to slide the left arm out a little further. The left arm keeps, yes, there you go, because it's going to change the splay of the pose. And then really hug your right hip underneath you. Yes, last little here. Nice work. Good. Let go of your foot. Take your left hand back underneath your shoulder. You can move your block with you. You're going to come and straighten out your right leg, kind of like a runner stretch, just like this. Straight up and down with the knee. The knee pillow is going to be helpful here. Right foot flexes. Stay with this. If you want to add a little bit more, this is the last little thing. The left hand is going to tent, and you can use a block. The right arm is going to peel open. Stack the two shoulders. You have to really hug your right hip tight underneath you. Really stabilize the abdominal wall and find some space in the shoulders and the chest to twist right here. Look down, take both hands to frame your front foot. Rebend the leg, curl the toes into the mat, step through a vinyasa. It's gonna feel good. And then meet me in a downward facing dog. And when you get to your down dog, land your left foot forward, drop your back knee down. Mm-hmm. Right palm, move it a little bit more forward today. Reach back with your left arm. This could be where you're stuck and this is okay. Bend at your knee crease, grab your ankle, get hold of your foot. There's so many different ways to do these poses. Like it's always the same, but, but the goal is to try and create a little difference because if we always do the same thing, the same results are going to happen, right? Breathe. So once you get here and you're like, okay, I have a little bit more space to maybe creep that right hand forward an inch or a half an inch. Keep gripping your left hip underneath you and breathe. Two more breaths. Good, let go of your foot. Slide the hands back underneath the shoulders, straighten out your leg. Straight up and down. If you can't reach the floor, your hands will be on blocks. This can be good for today. Just flex the foot really strong and you should breathe into this meaty part of the hamstring. If you want a little bit more, keep the right hand underneath the right shoulder, stretch the left arm up. Block is great to support the pose. Flex the foot strong and then twist open. Nice work. Good, look down, both hands frame the front foot, rebound the front thigh, good. So all I want you to do here is slide the left leg back. So now you're back in this tabletop position and come up standing on your, on your knees. Okay, so stand on your knees just like this. Curl the toes into the mat. Inhale the breath, slide the hands like this, down like this, press into the lower back. So like give yourself a little massage, hug the shoulders together and then lift from your upper thoracic Look up with your eyes, try not to drop the neck back. Keep slingshotting your hips forward. And if you have it in you, one hand to your right heel, the other hand to your left heel, and you'll come forward like this. If that's unavailable, hands just stay pressing firm into the lower back, hugging your elbows in for camel. Pose is not nearly done enough. Yes, keep slingshotting those, those hips forward. And if the hands don't make it towards the heels, 
Just think, lift through the upper torso, slingshot your hips forward, breathe. Good, right hand to your right hip, left hand to your left hip, come up slow, sit on your heels. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more, stand up on your knees, nice and high. Slide the hands back, hug in, inhale. This could be where you, you go. A lot of us get nauseous and just coming to this point is a sweet spot. Press into the lower back, almost like you're sliding your hips forward and down. Do that much, thighs forward. Then start to come back, hands to your heels. Maybe the tops of the feet can rest on the floor. Hugging of the shoulder blades, lift up to the upper shoulders and chest. Slingshot your hips forward, breathe. Right hand to right hip, left hand to left hip. Lower yourself down. This time you can bring your feet together, sit on your heels. Just sit up nice and tall, guys. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. Press to a downward facing dog. In your down dog, drop to your forearms for forearm dolphin pose. Walk your elbows in, just like 60 seconds we're gonna work here. Make sure your elbows aren't too wide. It's hard to see everyone's arms. Yeah. They want, they, you want them to be right underneath your shoulders. So it's more narrow than a down dog. So a couple different options. You can just stay here. You can just hope that this goes quickly. You can float your legs up into a forearm stand. You can go into a sphinx, which is be, be dropping your feet down. Not sphinx, um, sphinx is on your forearms. Scorpion pose is what I'm trying to tell you. If you're near a wall and you wanna work your legs up the wall and then work your feet down the wall, that's a back bend. Or you could just breathe your right leg up and stay on your forearms in dolphin pose. I'll demonstrate that. And as you breathe your right leg up, the hips don't open. You hug your left hip in. And you'll lower the right leg and you'll stay with it. You'll breathe your left leg up. You'll lower the left leg and you'll stay five more breaths wherever you are. If you went upside down, you'll start to come out nice and slow. If you're on your forearms, you're gonna press your left forearm into the ground and your right forearm, you're gonna come, your right hand, you're gonna come right to a downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Look in between your hands. You can hop, skip, jump, fly. Float through onto your backs and lay down. Two more back bends kind of close the, the deal here with you and your yoga practice. Bend your knees, take your feet flat, fingertips skim the backs of your heels, lift your tailbone, interlace your hands and find your way to bridge, supported bridge with a block underneath your low back or full wheel. You can just go for it. I personally find myself opting for the more mellower version of this over the past eight months. And then I was like, yeah, I should probably try and go up into a full wheel, make sure I can still do it. Anyways, find something you know you can work, but you're kind of playing your edge. Legs can go straight up too on a block. Good, if you went up into a full wheel, you're welcome to now come down, take a breath in, take a breath out. You're gonna do it one more time. If you're in a bridge or supported bridge and you wanna add in, flip the palms, chin to chest, giant breath in, on your exhale breath, start to come up. It's your final one. And then wherever you are, you're gonna breathe a lot of space from your tailbone to the backs of your knees. Nice, Julie, turn your left foot forward an inch. Yeah, yeah, I know it's hard. Cause that hip wants to rotate out, yeah. Take another big breath in. Nice, Jody, really good. Exhale the breath, when you're ready, come out with control. When you lower yourself down onto your backs, remove any objects out from underneath you. Let your tailbone drop to the ground. Hug your knees to your chest right here. Mm -hmm. 
Extend your left leg forward, hug your right knee in towards your chest just like this. Just draw the right knee in, give it a good squeeze. Good, then reach your arms forward, bring your knee and your eyeball to connect. Float your left leg up off the floor, draw in, lift the shoulder blade, scoop out the belly. Last little bit of work, guys. So scoop out. If having the left leg kind of floating from the mat doesn't feel great, just keep the leg down, but draw in, extend your right leg up, reach forward more, give it a little more energy. Try not to reach from the neck. You're scooping out your belly, flex both your feet really strong. Last little bit, wrap your triceps and your arms kind of around the side of your thigh. Bring your hands to a prayer. Reach forward with a little bit more energy. And then lower yourself back down, hug the knee back towards the chest. Take it over to the left for a supine twist. Right arm drops open. Good, come back to center. Relax the right leg out. Last time today, hug your left knee in, give it a good squeeze. And then draw your eyeballs towards your knee, reach your arm forward and float your right leg up. So remember your neck stays super long. Your hands could even be behind your head if it's too much. Scoop out your belly and reach. Keep the right leg really active. Keep flexing the foot. Now extend your left leg straight up. So it's like you're doing splits. Lift from your inner thighs, from your core, lift up a little bit more. Bring the hands to a prayer behind the meaty part of your hamstring. Draw in. One more big breath. Lower the right leg, hug the left knee in, give it a squeeze and take the leg over towards the right for a supine twist. Good, come back to center. Hug both your knees in evenly and then set up for Shavasana, complete rest. So if you're a little cold, you could put your bathrobe on if you're in your bathroom. Just kidding. Um, take a towel or something and cover yourself. Make yourself comfortable here. Let go of your Ujjayi breath. Yeah, perfect. And just rest. You've done everything you need to do right now. Take a big breath in. Take a complete loud exhale breath out. If you want more time, just ignore me and uh, enjoy some extra time for yourself. If you must re-enter the world and go clean up your kitchen, stretch your arms up over the top of your head, give yourself a really big stretch. Hug your knees to your chest when you feel ready. And then in your way, in your own way and time, you come up to a seated position and sit up nice and tall. Let the hands come to a prayer for a moment. So, you know, new year, new time on our mat. Most of us have really big intentions for ourselves. And as a very dear friend of mine said, easy does it, easy does it. So as we move through this year, you know, be kind to yourself. We've been through a lot. 
bow your head, have some gratitude, lift your head, open your eyes. Namaste. Catch you next time. Thanks for joining me as always.